Are we clear? Okay. So, published in 2015, Futuristic Violence in Fancy Suits by David Wong is set in the near future in rural Colorado. And we get to know protagonist Zoe Ash in an almost immediate action sequence. She soon finds out that her estranged father has passed away and not only left her his fortune, but also made her the key to opening the vault containing said fortune, effectively putting a target on her back. A group of people who worked for her father, known as the Suits, are after this key to keep his businesses running. They bring her to Tabula Rasa, a lawless futuristic city in which people augmented with wild technology try to track down Zoe to claim her father's property, either for themselves or the other mysterious power player who put a bounty on her head. Zoe must figure out which people want to kill her and which people want to use her, as well as just who she can trust, including the intentions of her own deceased father. Take a listen. The platform, now crowded with onlookers, recording the scene from dozens of tiny cameras, people probably watching their viewer accounts skyrocket as word spread across Blink that someone was about to be lightened to death by an escaped mental patient. At one point, he stood in the open doorway, raised his hand, and with a crackle that made the whole crowd flinch, did that lightning trick with his fingers. The audience was impressed. Zoe wondered if she had lost her freaking mind. If you are a fan of science fiction and fast-paced thrillers, as well as some good sarcasm, this book is for you. This book is full of action with car chases and fights between good-ish and evil, and far-out technology, but also an independent female protagonist who is just trying to get back to her regular life. But the question soon becomes, will she be able to get back home in one piece?